Hi everybody, Robert Jones, finally back in the kitchen today. You guys, it's been a little bit of time, it's been a couple ticks. Um, so much has happened. If you want to just skip the recap of what's been going on in my life, I will put a timestamp here and you can just skip to that and uh, you don't have to listen to me blabber, we can just get right to the booze. Okay, so um, it has been 101 days since I started this video back on May 22nd, 2020. It is now August 31st. If you're looking for a little zeitgeist information, there's where we're at. Oh, I don't even know where to start. So much has happened. So pandemic aside, I mean, all of that is going on still. Um, we are in quarantine still. Uh, this is day 167 for me. How are you? Um, I haven't had a haircut in like seven months. This is the best I can do right now. It may be a little bit uh, messy by the end of this video. Got some beard action going on. All right, so what's going on? Um, let's see, in the last two weeks, uh, three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, we have had two major fires in the central coast area of California. We have the river fire uh, south of us here and it has just been raining ash crazy you spent um, a better part of yesterday cleaning ash off the car and off the house and everything else where we're living also to the north of us one that is also impacting us even though it's 40 miles away is the czu complex fire and that is in santa cruz area and we are planning to move to that area spoiler alert new kitchen coming um but we found out that the place we are going to be moving to the water system has been destroyed there has been outbuildings burned we had neighbors of where we're going to be moving to burned out so yeah it's just crazy this plus oh the first part of this video you may notice is a little choppy because i'm going to be using some old video i had filmed the whole part of this and we had a computer meltdown the editing station uh computer had to be rebuilt so I don't even know what to tell you. Mental health is important, people. Do your things you need to do. Take the time you need to. I didn't expect this video to take 101 days to film. And uh, this is a dedication going out to my friend Alex P. in Texas. Uh, Alex, this is finally for you, the ginger video you've been waiting for. Okay, you guys, enough yapping about me. Let's get to the booze. So, uh, in case I still can't find the rest of the video, here's a recap of where we are. We took the ginger, we washed the ginger, we ground up the ginger via a uh, food processor, we just grated it all down into small pieces, and now we are here. So we took those small pieces, we put them into jars, flooded them with some nice Bacardi rum, not sponsored, and uh, so now we are today, we're going to squeeze out all the goodness from him, from him, from her, from it. Uh, we're going to get all the juices. We're going to then put it through a, a jelly bag, which is a type of filter used for fruit for making jelly. Then we're going to put it through a coffee filter. Then we're going to mix in some simple sugar, sugar, no, simple syrup. And then we're going to fix some, and then we're going to put it, and then we're going to add simple syrup, and then we're going to taste it and see how it is. And I'm going to try to give you a, uh, a rough estimate of what the alcohol level will be in this, and then we'll get to taste our ginger cordial liqueur. Okay, you guys. Whew. I can't even tell you how much stuff has been going on. But that's okay. Let's get going! Everybody always says that. Let's get started! Um, oh! Oh! I almost forgot one other thing that happened on May 22nd. While I was filming this video, the uh, Amazon delivery man came and brought my new cookbook. I know, a little shameless plug here, but it actually did happen because I was looking back through the videos and photos. It happened on the same day as I was shooting this video. So, uh, yeah, my cookbook came out the same day I was doing this video. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down below. Um, love to have you get it. This is a cookbook of all of my recipes from the last five years put in here. And also it comes with the YouTube links so you can watch the video and play along at home. All right, let's make some ginger liqueur. All right, you guys. So here is uh, the stuff we're gonna be working with today. We've got three jars of the grated ginger that's been macerating for about 101 days. We've also got the Bacardi bottles back there. 
that we used. Uh, two are empty, one still has goodies in it. Uh, we also have the simple SERP on the far right, the two bottles, one with the white cap, one with the red cap. We got some empty bottles on the far left. We've also got some coffee filters, a jelly bag, and a piece of ginger because we need to be reminded what we're making here. Okay, you guys, let's get started and do the final parts of this project. Okay, you guys, so just to give you a little bit of review where we're at here, in case I can't find the other footage, Here's where we're at. So uh, we took the ginger, we had a whole box of this we got from Costco. I think it was like three pounds or five pounds. And uh, this is what ginger looks like, it's a root. It's a little dry, it was a little more plump than this before. But basically we took this, we uh, put it through a food processor and just put it on the grater settings. All right, we're back in business, let's keep on going. And then so we have all these little shards of grated ginger. Um, it's also, you could just chop it up with a knife. It's very fibrous. So it took a little work to get through it. But basically we took all the ginger, we just put it into jars here, and then we poured the rum over that. So that's the recap of where we are here. Okay, let's set this silver ginger aside. Okay, you guys, I'm over here at the board, and here's what we got going on. So we've got a strainer, a chinois, if you will. We've also got a jelly bag. Now, I'm going to be using it inside out because it's smooth on the inside, and it's easier to get the stuff out. It doesn't look as glamorous, but it definitely works better. Um, we've also got our grated ginger here. So remember, we uh, took, well, maybe you don't remember. We took the ginger, we put it through the food processor, and just grated it. You can grate it by hand. You can hand chop it. You can do whatever you like. But um, here's what it looks like. And then we just poured a bunch of rum over it. And it's been sitting for 101 days. You don't have to put it that long. Um, two weeks will be totally fine. So, all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pour this in here. We're going to squeeze all the juices out. And then we're gonna put it through the coffee filter after that. That may take a little bit of time, but I wanna at least show you the method here. So I'm simply, let's do it this way so you guys can see. I'm just pouring this into the jelly bag. And the reason I'm using a jelly bag is because I wanna be able to squeeze it. Now, if you don't have a jelly bag, can I say jelly bag one more time? Jelly bag. Um, you could use uh, an old pillowcase, you could use a cheesecloth, you could use whatever you have. So I'm just putting that in here and giving it a squeeze. It's a nice sturdy fabric. Oh, look at that. Of course I have clean hands. And man, it smells good. It is super gingery. It's going everywhere. I guess I didn't need to squeeze that yet, but let's put the next one in. You can see here's what it looks like. We feed that to the pigs. Yeah, pigs. All right. These jars are really kind of sealed. And we're back. I had to get some help to open those. Rough. All right. Pour this one in here. Ginger bits. Lots of ginger bits. Get it all. All right. All right. Let's see if we can get the last one in here. I think it'll fit. Get all the chunks. All right, so here's where we're at. Let's give this a good. Oh, that's pretty good. A lot of stuff coming out. Of course, you don't have to squeeze this. You could hang dry it, but. I'm making a video. I want it to be fast. I'm moderately strong, so I think we're getting there. OK. 
Okay, one more. All right, you guys. So here's what's left, if you wanna see. Just a big pile. Put that in the garden. And look at that. Here's what we got going on. There is our ginger and rum juice. Okay guys, I'm just rinsing out the jars to get the chunks out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the juice back in the jars just so I can use my bowl again to do the coffee filtering process. Try not to spill it and waste it. I wish you guys could smell how gingery it smells. All right, so I'm gonna rinse out the little, there's a little bit of sediment left in here. So let's go ahead and rinse that out too. Remember, I'm trying to make a nice clear liqueur here. And a little water, no problem. Okay, let's get this reset up again. And now we're gonna put it through a coffee filter. Coffee filters are super cheap and they do a nice job of clarifying. You guys can see, slowly dripping through. Alright, this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to do a time lapse for you here, so we'll just let this run, and we'll keep changing out the filter and keep clarifying the juice. Alright, you guys, we just finished the last of it going through the filters, and here is how much we have left. I'm very excited. Now, it is a little cloudier than I expected. Um, I think over time it will settle out, but uh, for the sake of this video, um, just know that it is pretty small. It's through a coffee filter. If you've ever had coffee, then you know you don't really feel the, the granules or the grains or anything through there. So I'm pretty confident this is smooth. It just has a little bit of sediment mixed up into it. So it's just fine. Okay, so here's the next thing what we're going to do. We're going to measure this out and we're going to put it in a bowl and I'm going to do three parts rum with one part simple sugar. It's going to be sweet, but I don't want it to be too sweet. So I'm just using a measuring cup here. And so let's do three cups of this. But I don't spill it. So there's one. There's two, yeah, I should put it down, but whatever. And there's three, all right, and then we're gonna do one cup of simple syrup. Um, this is just made from two parts sugar to one part water using a measuring cup, not by weight. So, and then I just boil it. You can see it's nice and clear. And this is actually the natural color of the sugar. So even though it was white sugar, the syrup is never quite uh, clear. Right, and then we'll do one cup of this. This is pretty sweet and pretty thick. Wow, that's pretty, pretty exact. There we go. All right, pour that in. And then I'm gonna give this a little stir. Make sure it gets incorporated. You guys, there we go. Now you can see better. Be pretty good and then this is the non-official taste test i am making this recipe up so i want to make sure it's going to be sweet enough but not too sweet so let's give it a taste oh that's that's perfect you guys that that's really good Ooh, that is that's ginger oh that's some ginger all right, so I'm gonna mix up the rest of this. So I'm gonna finish mixing this up with the simple syrup and then we'll bottle it up from there. So you've seen the method, it's very simple. Very simple with simple syrup. Okay, you guys, I finished mixing in the rest of the simple syrup and then I got a nice pirate looking bottle here. So all I'm gonna do is pour the nice mixture into the pirate bottle and uh, we can decant that. 
So while I'm doing this, you'll also be happy to know that Raccoon and I were just tasting this to see if it needed more sugar. And he made a note that it tastes like a Moscow Mule. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. And finally remembered that a Moscow Mule has ginger ale in it. So yeah, rum and ginger ale. Except that's made with uh, uh, vodka. This will be rum. Still delicious. All right, look at that. That is some pirate's grog. All right, we'll seal that one up. How nice does that look, you guys? How nice does that look? Of course, we have to make a pick for the gram. For the gram. Simple. Simple, simple. All right, and then I'm just going to use another uh, the Bacardi bottle. I took the, the topper out of it, and we'll just uh, just fill this back up as an easy storage device. Again, not sponsored. Bacardi, hit me up, baby. All right. Original mix. Boom, Bacardi in a bottle. We're ready for your party. Bacardi in your party. So my best estimate for this is we started out with 40% alcohol and I'm going to guess that we're about 20% with the ginger juice and the simple syrup, which has water in it. I think we're probably down to about 20%. So, um, not super hard, but definitely alcoholic and, uh, yeah, good for a party. All right, you guys, so I thought I'd make a little cocktail here. We can do a taste test with that. So I just have a little tiki glass and I'm just going to add some ice amount of ice in there and then we've got our cocktail of course I'm just gonna add a about an ounce maybe two ounces because it's not that alcoholic and just to give it some lightness and because uh, all the kids are doing it these days we just got some grapefruit sparkling water here just add that in oh sparkle that all right then we've got a straw of course hipster straw we've got a little wide wedge and because we're extra fancy we've got a parasol so now it really looks like we're on vacation even though we're in quarantine all right you guys this has been a lot of fun to make. Um, let's give the cordial a taste, and we'll also taste our little cocktail here. Put the, do it for the gram. Gotta make it nice for the gram. Nice for the gram. All right, you guys, let's flip this around and give it a taste. Oh, we did it. We made the goodness. I am very excited to uh, share this with friends. Who knows what friends are anymore, but we'll find some out there. Um, these are uh, going to be great. So I've got this one, plus I've got the other big Bacardi bottle full. So I like this one because it looks piratey. All right, you guys. So check it out. Oh, right. It is a moment you've been waiting for. Woo! Yes, I've been waiting. Now, I did have a little taste, just a little spoonful while I was making this because I wanted to make sure that the sugar levels were right in it, but I haven't had a good swig yet. So I thought I would start out with uh, this little cooler we made. So that is simply just the liqueur we made and some sparkling water. Uh, mine happened to be grapefruit because that's what I had on hand. I had a choice, watermelon, grape, or grapefruit. I felt like grapefruit would be the best choice. Now, Raccoon did make the mention that this does taste of a Moscow Mule, and I would say it does a little bit because of the ginger ale that's in there, but let's give it a taste. Um, so, um, yeah, here we go. Ooh, 
Now, I'm not even kidding you. That is so good. You get that bright punch from the ginger. You know, ginger gives you that sparkling and spitting, sparkling flavor in your mouth. I mean, it just hits you right in the back. And then you get a little bit of the sweetness because it didn't add that much sugar to it. And the bubbles really add to that too. Oh, man. <laughs> Why didn't I make this earlier? This is what pirates really want to drink. Telling you what. I tell you what. Um, yeah. Oh, it's 11 o'clock in the morning and this is starting the day off right. Okay. So I did pour a little shot of it here. Now I'm scared to just drink this by itself now having it diluted, but I'm going to do it because that's what we're here for. Ooh, that is strong. Like if you had a sore throat, so remember this is raw ginger. Now it is preserved in the alcohol, but it is still raw ginger. So all the ginger effects that you get, it's medicinal. All right, one more. Oh, you know what? On a cold winter's night, that would be really good. Add that to um, a green tea or a matcha. Mm, so I think I'm gonna go back to this one for right now. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed learning to do magic things with ginger because I did and it was a lot of fun. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, learning how to do something with ginger that you may have not have thought of. Um, it was a lot of fun to make this video, even though it did take 101 days and hopefully I'll get it edited and out to you guys soon. Um, I'm Robert Jones, this is Eudaimonious Mark II. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, if you want to get notified when and if I can get my damn videos up, uh, hit the bell. Uh, just a reminder about the cookbook. It is out there and I am sending it out. I'm also going to put a link down below. You can get a combination coca platter. You can get a cookbook. You can get a t-shirt and you get a special gift from me and you get it engraved if you buy it through the Etsy link or if you just want the book, you can get it on Amazon and that shoots right out to you. All right, you guys, I'm Robert Jones. Uh, this is Udamona's Mark II. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this ginger cordial, and I will see you next time. Take care.